Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac to the latest Mac OS. So let's get started. Go right into your Apple logo on the top left hand side of your screen. So you're going to see this app logo. Then you're going to see system settings. So that's right here, your second option. Once you go there, this will be popping up. And then your second option should say software update. Now let's say you don't see that. Well, scroll down, go into general. Under general, software updates, your second option. From here, you should see latest update. If you don't, for any reason, see this, go on and turn off and on automatic updates, even beta updates, just turn that on and off. Things will refresh. You should see the latest update and then go on and update now. Now, before you make any update on the Mac, I highly suggest making a backup using Time Machine. Time Machine is something that's pre-built on your Mac already. So make sure to use an external hard drive for that. I do have a separate video for that and all about external hard drives and all about Time Machine. But anyways, right now we're just gonna go on and tap on update now. Once you do so, just agree, put in your passcode. Once you put in your passcode, it's gonna get started with the download. After downloading, it's gonna install. So your Mac will restart. You will see an Apple logo briefly and you're, then you're gonna be done. It's a really short update, really quick. It uh, came out with a fix that needed to be done pretty quick. So at this point in time, just step away from your Mac and then come back afterwards. It would have restarted by itself unless it gave you an error message where you guys have to close some programs. But I highly suggest not having anything, anything right now running on your Mac. So no programs, no editing of anything. Just let your Mac be. Now this is under two gigs, so it shouldn't be that big. Downloading does depend on your internet speed, but if you do want it to go faster, you could use an ethernet cable directly hooked up to your Mac from your router. Anyways, right now, let's just wait. So afterwards, you should have seen your Mac just restarting. You should have seen an Apple logo, a loading bar. And then afterwards, you're all done. You guys can just go back into system settings. Under system settings, just check out that you're all up to date. So that's right here. And it says that we are, in fact, all up to date. And that would be it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.